BBC Radio Sussex. Make a difference. And a Brighton-based community interest company have won an award for the work they do to make a difference. They inspire people with disabilities to take up dancing. Parable Dance has won the National Culture Champion Award at the She Inspires Awards 2021. Natasha Britton is the organisation's artistic director and joins us live. Morning, Natasha. Good morning. Hello. You must be thrilled to have picked up this award. Oh, it's yeah, it's so exciting. We're, we're a very new organisation, so to win an award so early on in our work is, is just wonderful. We're, we're yeah. absolutely thrilled. Well, tell us more about what it is you do. Uh, so we run an inclusive dance company, which means a dance company for people with disabilities. We're based in Brighton and we deliver workshops uh, locally around the region and also work with uh, delivering training nationally. Um, and this is the seventh year, isn't it, that the She Inspires Awards have been held? Yes, yes. So they started off, they're based in Bolton and it started as a local awards and it's become, uh, it became regional a couple of years ago and is now um, global. Um, so there's, there's global categories and national categories as well. Mm, and they say it's a special way of recognising truly amazing women from around the world, uh, which is amazing. So that means you're an amazing woman, Natasha. <laughs> it, I guess so. Take that, I guess yeah. I, it feels it feels <laughs> uh, feels wonderful to be included in that group of women. Yeah, because you're up against some really strong finalists, weren't you? Yes, it was. I mean, incredible award ceremony. Looking at the the finalists and the people that are involved. I mean, if I'm honest, I was in tears throughout the evening listening Aww. to people's stories and, and the wonderful things that the the other women were, were achieving. So oh, it really, really what, did feel special to be part what, of it. What sort of stories did you hear? Um, lots of pandemic stories, you know, lots of people uh, who'd lost loved ones and had kind of created charities off the back of, you know, wanting to work in people's memory and things like that. It was it was very, a very moving evening. Mm. What was it that inspired you to start Parable Dance? Uh, so my colleague Erica and I started Parable two years ago with the idea that we wanted to bring inclusive dance to Brighton and to Sussex. And we've both been working in inclusive dance with people with disabilities for a number of years and wanted to bring it to this region, basically, but also have a real passion for um, training up the next generation of teachers. And so wanted to create lots of opportunities and projects um, to be able to deliver those around the UK and, and kind of fill a gap, really, that, that exists at the moment in people's education and training around this area. Yeah, absolutely. If people want to find out more about what you do, is there a website they can take a look at? Yes, so it's parabledance.co.uk and we're on Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook and YouTube as well. Brilliant. Well, look, well done again uh, for picking up the National Culture Champion Award at the She Inspires Awards 2021. BBC Radio Science.